All right, I want to say, Kal Halal Yom La, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Haraka Kudash. Double honors be to the apostles, what elders of great millstone and rule well. <clears throat> and Shalom to, this, to the sensei and brethren out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity, proclaiming salvation unto the elect of Israel, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so called, and declaring the end, the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so called white man's empire. You understand? So the main reasoning in this topic is going to be the rat race, man. The rat race for what? Riches, man. Because this world is all about accumulating wealth and riches and money. You understand? And a lot of, a majority of Israel is caught up in, in that disease, man, of chasing money. You understand? And the scriptures speak about that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 31, verse 1. Watching for riches, consume it the flesh. And the care thereof, and the care thereof, drive it away. Sleep, cause that's why you have jakes out there, man. Drug dealing jakes, man. You know what I mean? All they, they hustling all day, man. You know what I mean? Twenty four hours a day, man. You have jakes out there. You know what I mean? Trying to make it to be a rapper, man. You know what I mean? Just have jakes out there working, man. Double over time, triple over time. Why? Because they want to accumulate that riches, man. They want to accumulate that wealth. They want to get the bag. You understand? Of which, hey, what the scriptures say? And the care thereof drive it away sleep, man. So you have Jake's out there all messed up, man. You understand? Only sleeping four or five hours a, a day, man. Three, four hours a day, man. Of which is totally off, man. Why? Because they're chasing, chasing money. They're chasing riches. Watching, watching care will not let a man... Watching care will not let a man slumber as they saw this disease break its sleep. The rich had great labor in gathering riches together. Because, hey, man, you're going to have to put in work to um, get them riches, man. And as a man of the Lord, man, you don't really have so much time, man, to be laboring for riches, man. You have to labor for the kingdom. For the kingdom of your Bash and your Shai. So it's a balanced same way. Yeah, you got to work. You know what I mean? You got to put in that, that carnal effort to uh, get money, man. Because, like the scriptures say, money is a defense. But, hey, man, you can't put your whole spirit into that get money, <laughs> that get rich or die trying uh, mentality, you understand? And when he rested, he is filled with his delicates. The poor labor in his poor estate, and when he leave it, leave it off, he is still needy. Kind of, that's, that's, that's the elect, man, for the most part, man. Because the majority of the elect, the vast majority of the elect is poor, man, rich in faith. <clears throat> and we need Yahweh Shai. He that loveth gold shall not be justified, and he that followeth corruption shall not have enough uh, and he that follow it follow the corruption shall shall have enough thereof can't say you know what i mean you can't get caught up in 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 the money man in money you know what i mean Acc accumulating silver and gold yes you you can have it but hey that that's not the nrb all you understand gold had been ruined of had had been the ruin of many and the destruction was present present can't so many because gold is what you call real money. So, hey, money has been the ruin of many men. I mean, chasing after riches, you understand, have been the ruin of many men. Many jakes, man. That's why that's why jakes dropping like flies out here in the, in, the, in the hood, man, in the ghetto. Why? Because they're chasing money. They're doing all type of wickedness to get money. Drug dealing, man. You understand? Being a witch. You know what I mean? Selling out. You know what I mean? Doing all type of grimy activities to accumulate money, man. And that's why... They ended up, they ended up dead. You understand? They ended up get shot down. You know what I mean? The police might kill them, man, or they serving 20, 30 years to life. Why? Because they, they were chasing that money, man, and they was do, they were, they was doing anything and anything to get that money. You understand? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter fourteen, chapter fourteen, verse three. Riches are not comely for a niggard. And what should an envious man do with money? Can't say a nigga, man, a foolish, dumb individual, man. Understand? And that's the average jake, man. That's why yeah, a lot of these celebrities, rappers, uh, athletes, bar players, NFL players, they, they end up broke, man, because they are niggas, man. They are fools, man. They don't know they don't know how to deal with money, man. So they blow the money, man. And then after everything is said and done, they back broke again in the hood, man. And guess what? Ain't nobody gonna pity them, man. 
Because when they had it all, they were stunting, they were balling, man. You know what I mean? Shitting on people. So now that they back broke, hey, <laughs> people people gonna laugh at them, man. And that was that's that's what happens, man. You get so consumed with chasing riches, man. You blow that money, and then hey, you back in the same position that you was in when you didn't have money. You understand? <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter six, chapter six, verse twenty-four. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve your Hawa and Mammon. Can't see you can't be consumed with getting with that get money spirit, man. That rat race, man, chasing money, man. You know what I mean? You can't look uh put your whole spirit toward getting money, man, chasing money, man. You have to serve your how about Shimmy or Shai first and foremost. He comes first, man. Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Not money, man, not your woman. And that's why a lot of Jake chase money too, man. To get women, man. You understand? Know because woman what? Because money brings what? Power, man. And which which brings woman, man. You know what I mean? Woman like money and power, you understand? So that's why Jake's chase, chase money. For women, for vain things, for vanity. You understand? You cannot serve your Hawa and Mama. You can't. You cannot serve your Hawa and Yahweh and yet serving this world, man. <coughs> serving the filthy, <coughs> wicked ways of this world. The wealth of this world. Seeking after the wealth of this world. This is the book of Matthew chapter 16. Verse 26, verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Turn. So Jake, you trying to save your life by what? Building up in this America, man. You know what I mean? Chasing the bag. You, you, you trying to live your life in this world, man. But we lost our life. The, the hopefully, like, we lost our life, man. We don't put no pattern. We don't put no faith in, 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 this, in this world, man. You know what I mean? We don't have no retirement funds. You understand? <clears throat> we looking to, to build up here in America. No, man. So we lost our life according to this world, man. But we're going to find it in the kingdom to come. For the son of man shall come. It's like, yeah, verse, verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall be, if he shall gain, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And that's what happened to Jake's, man. The majority, the vast majority of your top uh, entertainers, actors, celebrities, athletes, man, they sold their soul, man. Whether they actually physically sold their soul, uh, whether they actually uh, went through and sold their soul to Satan, or hey, spiritually sold their soul to Satan, man, by giving in to the ways of this world, man. <clears throat> you know what I mean? By buying into this world, man. You know what I mean? They, they sold up, man. Well, whether actually or, or spiritually sold up, man. You understand? <clears throat> For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Come. Say, hey man, you're going to lose at the end of the day, man. You're selling off for a carnal, for money, man. For, for a Federal Reserve note. Or even if you're selling off for gold and silver, hey. All of that is nothing, man. You know what I mean? Compared to the, to, to the glory and the riches that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to give us, man. Esau can't give you anything. Satan can't give you anything that's going to compare to what we feel we feeling to receive in the kingdom man you understand because all of this man all of this that you see man is temporal we're looking for the eternal we're looking for the immortal man we're looking for riches that that never perish it you understand the riches of this world perish it man a man could come and gun you down i mean isaac will freeze your bank account you understand so hey this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter one Verse 1, the words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, Malak, by Jerusalem, Malak, king in Jerusalem. <clears throat> vanities of vanities, vanities of vanities with the preacher, vanity of vanity, all is vanity. That's there, King Solomon, man, Malak Solomon, man. Hey, telling you straight up, man. Yahweh Shai himself, if you can receive it, telling you straight up, man. All is vanity, man. Everything that you see, hey, amen. Let me jump to um, verse 14. I have seen all the words that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. God, so all, you, all, all, all of this shit is vanity and vexation of spirit, man. Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, you can't take any of it with you, you understand? You're not immortal. 
And that's what the elect is, look, is looking for, man. We're looking to be immortal, you understand? We're looking to live forever, man. That's real riches, man. We're looking to be healthy, man. Have bodies that, amen, that don't wax all, you understand? That's real riches, man. That's real riches before physical karma riches of a, a nice car, you know what I mean? A big house. All of that is karma riches, man. The real riches is, 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 is eternal life, man. You understand? Living forever. You understand? Being, at, being, being in rulership, having dominion over your enemies, that's real riches, man. Not having, a, not having a gold chain, not having some gold teeth. Hey, that don't mean nothing, you understand? <clears throat> Let's check a fine. This other precept we use. This is the book of James. Because all of this is going to come to naught, man. Everything that you see here in Babylon, man, is going to come to naught, man, once them thermonuclear missiles touch down upon the soils of Babylon, you understand? <clears throat> Come, so this is the book of James chapter 5 verse 1 Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl, howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Come, say, that's what we forewarned, man. You rich men, man. Starting with the Rashads, the Rockefellers, the Dupons, the Gettys. But you rich men amongst Jake also, who sold out. Hey, man, we found how, how, man? Jay-Z, Michael Jordan, you know what I mean? All these men. Floyd May, what are hey? We found how now, man, because you have received a consolation already. You understand? <clears throat> go not, go to now, you rich men. We found how... For your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are mo moth eaten. Can't say hey, your riches are corrupted, man. Corrupt are you are you have a corruptible crown, man. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you don't have an eternal, you don't have eternal glory, man. You have temporary glory. Temporary glory. Verse 3. Your gold and silver is cankered. So all your money, your riches, your delicate, your delicacies is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. I shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Can't say, hey, you, you, you are. Can't say, hey, <laughs> you heap all these riches onto yourself, man. Thinking that, hey, you're going to be good, man. You now I mean, thinking about 50, 100 years from now. No, nah, man. This is it, man. This is it. This, this is the end. Of, your, of, of the kingdom of the so-called white man and the two-thirds of you jakes, man. You understand? Let's see if I can find one more priest or real quick. Can so this is the book of Luke. And I'll probably close it out with this preset right here. This is the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich. Let me read that again. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Hey, there we go, plain and simple, man. So if you're rich according to this world, man, without uh, acknowledging Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, which is the vast majority of you rich people, man, whether you be Edomite or Jake, hey, man, you have received, well, really, this scripture is dealing with Jake. Hey, you have received your consolation already, you understand? So you Michael Jordan, you know what I mean? LeBron James, you know what I mean? <laughs> Lionel Messi, all these men. Ronaldo, all these men. These top men amongst the Israelites. Hey, you have received your consolations already, man. And all you jakes in this rat race to become rich, I will do anything to get rich, to get money. Hey, man, you have received your consolation already, man. But we the hopefully elect. Hey, we're looking for the grand, 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 grand prize, man, which is the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So with that, I'm going to say, Kal halal yam la abanawa yahawa ba'ashim yahawa shai ba'ashim haru kakwadash. Double honors be to the apostles who are elders of great men's known rule well. A shalom to the sincere brethren akimotli across the four winds, the four corners of the globe. Holding firm, standing firm in the truth. Shalom.